Hey, what's going on guys? Josh here from Trail King Productions. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how to actually clean, well not, yeah, pretty much fix uh, CD, DVD, video game, whatever. Um, this is foolproof, you cannot wreck your disc, and uh, I just want to make that clear because some people might be skeptical. Because, you know, some people might uh made tutorials before, if you've ever seen them, uh, that, that people use toothpaste or peanut butter or other stupid things. But, um, yeah. But really, today, guys, all you're going to need really is chapstick. Stuff smells really good. Definitely uh, Christmas tree Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. No, I'm just kidding. You don't need that. But still. Um, obviously, a scratch CD. And something to wipe it off with, preferably clean, like tissues, snot rags, um, paper towels, nice soft cloth. But really, guys, what I wanted to show you is, I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, ring around it. Yeah, let me see if I can shut this up. Yeah, the ring. Um, I accidentally hit my table today, and it moved my xbox my disc moved around and it scratched the entire ring around my uh disc so yeah that's what i'll be showing today so anyway basically what you want to do is you want to oh, i'm just doing this anyway you can put a put a tissue down put the disc make that on it and what you want to do is you want to take the um chapstick and you want to rub you want to rub all over the disc you want to take the entire thing and you want to pretty much cover the entire um, color surface of this. And like I said, guys, do not worry. It will not wreck your disc. And all right, this should be good. It's all shitty now, but whatever. Who cares? Use one you don't like or it smells like shit. I don't know why I'm using this one. I couldn't find anyone else, so whatever. All right, so what you want to do then? Take your finger and you want to rub it in just like this. Don't worry about the middle part right here. Don't worry about the uh, center middle ring. Uh, that's not really important. But what you want to do is you want to rub it in on the entire disc. You want to get everything. Make sure it's all good. And basically what this is going to do is it will uh, pretty much fill in fill in any of the cracks. Not the cracks. Um, the um, scratches on your disc. And uh, it will kind of leave a extra coating so it'll um, make sure the disc I mean the laser will read it and uh, it'll make sure it'll work and uh, like I said guys this will work and I promise it won't rescue wreck your disc if it does leave a comment and don't be messing with me and saying that oh god it broke and it really didn't because that's that's not cool but um all right anyway what the last step you want to do really is you want to take a cloth like this and well put it like I said any cloth you want really and uh, as you see now the entire disc has that little kind of glossy look on it and everything's covered you can tell the difference from the middle to the rest of that what you want to do is you want to lay it down well yeah whatever pick it up whatever you guys want I mean it doesn't really matter but what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to just rub it off just circular motion make sure you get everything off this could take a while but guys trust me it the end result in this will be really, really good, and it will work, I promise you, because when that happened today, and I took my disc out, and I looked at it, I almost shit my pants, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that kind of scared me a little bit, because uh, I, I wasn't really expecting my Black Ops to break, but, uh, yeah. So really guys, uh, when you're wiping this off, you want to make sure you get all of the, um, like the edges. Shit, oh my god, damn. Alright, <laughs> you want to make sure you get all the edges, uh, in case there's some chapstick left or something. Um, and like I said, if it doesn't work the first time when you put it in, uh, try give it another clean wipe down, because maybe you didn't get all the chapstick off all the way. And, um, because it'll leave a little bit of a glossy coating. And <clears throat> that should pretty much do it. And uh, I, I'm not going to end the video. I'm going to keep it going so I can show you guys. So you know what it looks like if it works. And uh, as you can see, it kind of leaved a little bit of a 
you can't see the really scratch anymore. So that's good. So all right, uh, now we're gonna turn over here. Do do do. I just leave it about that. All right, turn that on. That there. Turn that there. And um, another good thing, be, like if you're just getting a new game, uh, the best thing would do if you have a big enough hard drive is to install the game onto the hard drive. I know you pretty much everyone knows that already, but um, it's a really good thing to do, and um, I highly recommend it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, see Xbox on, this tray closed before it made a little weird ass noise. And uh, let's see. I have a preset to um, load up the multiplayer, so it takes a while. Yep, there we go. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like rating if it helped. And please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps. And um, I'll see you guys for my next video. I'm working on it right now. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. This has been Josh from Troll King Productions. Signing out. Peace.